Good morning, my lovelies. Even if it's lunchtime. Well, it's November 2nd. It's Saturday, and I just let my hair down. Yeah, it's been a week that I've dyed my hair. Today, it's... Why did I start? Let's... Before I even tell you what's going to be. Why did I wait till 12 o'clock to do the video? Because it's a weird video, and I was thinking, like... Should I do it? I won't do it. Should I do it? I won't do it. But guess what? I'm doing it. Today it's a rant. Let's rant. I want you guys to rant about everything in the comments. Give it a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Because this channel is like, like, like no other channel. Even if it's a really small channel, who cares? We're having fun. Let's continue on the topic of our rants. Why this channel is not growing. And it's getting a kind of a... Because I say the truth. I will not lie. I do not try to hide that I'm a smoker. Nope, I'm not going to hide it. First. Second of all, before doing my channel, I was watching other channels. Some big channels, and they have like, even I don't know how many subscribers. I'm not going to say the names. I'm not even going to say who I was following and watching. And I've unsubscribed from them because it was doing me more bad. But what have I discovered? Because I do go back and check, right? I discovered that people like being lied to. They, what was the lies? It's, we're living off. 10% or we're living off 5% of our paycheck, a monthly paycheck. And when I added all their expenses up, it was like, uh, your monthly income is something that I don't make in two or three years. So how can I compare and live off a 5% or 10% of my income? If what you guys make in one month, it takes me two to three years to make. But people like hearing it. They're like, yeah, I want to try that too. That seems like extreme frugality. They're saving, they're making their future. And she's talking about saving 5% and they're talking about saving 95%. Doesn't make sense, does it? You cannot save what you don't have. Like, I... There's months that I make a thousand. Yes, for those months in summer. And there's months that I make like a hundred. So you cannot support a family, live in a house, paying the mortgage and everything, while... <laughs> this is a good thing. We're doing the 10% that I've heard some other channels do. If they've got like a million subscribers. So, the months that I make a thousand. I'm not going to hide it. I'm a store owner in Greece in a really small village. So, yeah, of course, there's going to be months like in August and September. August, July, and June. Well, June is kind of, uh. But I do reach my goals. So, I can make a thousand, a thousand, and a thousand. Right? We'll say that my husband makes another that much. Which he doesn't. It's more like 500, but we're going to say 1,000. So June, July, and August, we're going to be normal people with a 2,000 income a month. No, we're going to do it the, the right way. 1,000 for me, 500 for him, because that's how much he makes. Maybe a 600, might be 400, but we're going to say 500. We're not going to do 1,000. So we're supposed to live on 10%. That would be 150. There's no way. Just the, the bills plus for the house. I'm, I'm, I tried calculating everything last night, taking out the electricity, the phone bill, and everything that was the store part, and keeping the house part. That took a lot of hours. <laughs> but anyways, that would be 150 Plus food, plus transportation. It's like, no. We could do it for a month. We could do it for two months. That would be impossible to keep up for 12 months. There are months you cannot do it. 
Then comes September, October, November. Yeah, September, October, and November. I start making less. Even he starts making less. So from 1,500, we're going to go down to 1,000 a month. That will make us have to live off 100. You cannot live off 100. You can try it, but it's impossible. When you have to pay your taxes, because everything has to go into your expenses, right? Then we reach December, January, February, March, April. Those five months are the worst months for my store and for him. Because it's going to be rainy, it's going to be cold, it's going to be olive picking season. And olive picking season, our expenses go way up. Just the fuel um, for him to go pick up olives, not working. They're eating in the olive field. Like they go buy bread, they go buy cheese pies. I cannot drive food over there. So it comes to kind of a hectic schedule. Our expenses go really up. So he makes zero and I and customers are so tired they don't want to go out. And have a coffee or have a drink or have food. So even my goes. <laughs> so I kind of figure I'm going to be around 300 to like around 300 a month for those two months. November, December. And we're in November, aren't we? <laughs> so living off that will be like 30, 40 a month. Even if I add all, which I didn't do it because I didn't have time, at all 12 months, I could not actually live off 10%. And that's without smoking. Why lie to yourselves? I like watching those YouTube videos and they're like, yeah, they gave me... But then when I try something, it's like... Doesn't work. It gets me depressed. It gets me going, I failed, I fell off the wagon, I cannot do it, and I get so discouraged. That's what was keeping me from doing YouTube videos, because I was always getting discouraged. And second, I was always falling off the wagon, because it was an impossible thing. You have to find your own savings, your own way of life. Me, it kind of got, because I'm doing it on YouTube... I found help because they kept, I kept on going. It's like I started two years ago and no, <laughs> my channel wasn't growing anyways. I started at 365 days at Frugal Living and it's kind of started growing like kind of after all those months. <laughs> but anyways, my savings did increase because I found the way it works for me. My way may be the wrong way for everybody else. But if it's working for me, it's working for me. Now, some other people are doing the extreme no save. Why do I see that that is wrong? I've done it. I've gone even more extreme. But it is wrong. You get deprived sometimes. And let's be honest. When you're on the road, you're going to need a coffee. When you're starving... To the point, like, I had breakfast, but <laughs> I'm starving right now. And I'm on the road all day. Of course, I'm going to stop and get a donut. Or a bag of chips. Or a soft drink, something. Everybody has to figure out their way. Don't follow extreme channels that have, like, a million subscribers. Most of the things they say are fake. Or they have the humongous income. And they're allowed to live off 10% or 5%. Because that 5% could be like $2,000 or $3,000 a month. And it doesn't make sense to me either. Since I don't make that much than what they're spending in a month. I could go on and on and on and on. But I'm cutting it now and continuing later. Because there's another cute, there's a little few little, little things that you guys can do to save more money. They're weird, they're funny, but you're gonna have to find them yourselves. Okay, I'll give you a little hints in a few seconds.
Ugh, and it's five o'clock officially. So that you guys wait a little bit longer. Who really? Yeah, I can see better like this. So you want another secret? Saving more is follow your heart and your brain at the same time. Don't let your brain overdo it, and don't let you don't let your heart overdo it either. It has to be a 50-50. Everyone has their own way of saving. So if you're watching a lot of channels and seeing all those 5%, 10%, don't take it to heart. They're impossible to reach. Some goals were never meant to reach. I was watching a lot of channels, trying a lot of things, and always falling off my wagon. And I know they're hiding a lot of things. Like I said, why hide? It's just YouTube, right? It's not actually being judged. I'm not going to go to prison if I lie about something. But why lie? The truth will come out sometime, right? So I'll just smoke, have my coffee, and do what I think is right for me. Because only I could know how to save, how to spend, and how to make my budget work. I couldn't even make your budget work if I don't meet you in person. If I don't get the full picture of what you like. Yeah, what you like. You might like something. I'm just turn this way. Yeah, it makes more sense because I was actually turning my camera off. You might like... You might not like coffee. But you might like ice cream. You might think... I know there's so many things different for everyone, right? Please camera, focus like a human being. I am a human being. So like I was saying, everybody's life is so different. There are different phases. I didn't wake up one day and go, yeah, I'm saving. And I became frugal mama. It was always in me. My family had always made fun of me for being a Scrooge. My nickname in this family, when my daughter gets pissed, my husband, my sons, my mother, it's Scrooge McDuck, like the character, because he was diving in money, and I've always been weird with saving. So yes, I've kind of prioritized, especially this year, last year not so much, but after getting my teeth. I can smile again. Having glasses, I can see again. Dying my hair and paying too much for it. Two months in a row. But anyways, I kind of figured out what I really want in life. Am I finished yet? No. I'll probably be changing my goals again soon. Not this year, but maybe next year, the big ones, or the year after. But I'm always chasing after a dream. And yes, you have to figure out. You have to look really deep inside you. Really deep, 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 deep. Uh, no spend is not going to change your life. It might change it for a little bit, but you're going to go back to your old habits. You have to find things that make you happy. Me working so many hours doesn't make me happy. But thinking that next year, I'm always saying next year, I don't know why, but next year, going on that vacation, I know it's going to renew me and have me back to where I want to be. But I have to get things done, like things that I think are important to me. What's a vacation if I don't have food when I'm old, in old age? What's a, a few drinks that my husband is having if when I really want to go out and have coffee, drinks, and food, and I can't? Or in my old age, I want to go on a vacation then. I don't want to be poor when I'm old. I want to be living comfortably. And yes, I'm still chasing the RV dream, even if it turns out to be a trailer. So write all your things you want to do right now for 2020. And do not listen to the big channels that have a million subscribers. They're going to make you feel like a failure because they're making way too much money. And that's how they, they can live frugally on 5 and 10 or 15%. You might need to be living on 75% right now, just to make it through. So till tomorrow, enjoy life and have fun. And I can't wait to read all your comments.